Uh, another quick one, this is where I left off before with arrays. If you haven't seen that video, watch that one first. Um, but basically what I want to get at with um, talking about arrays is that uh, if you have a list of images, let's say you have a bunch of images that you want to store in your, or you want to use in your sketch, maybe it's like a slideshow or maybe you're loading um, images for like a uh, sprites in an animation or sprites in a, a video game or something. So um, what you might attempt to do is, you know, you have my image one and then you um, then you want to load image um, and you have some, you know, something called frog, let's say. And so now, then you actually have to display the image later. So this is like our normal pathway. We create the variable, we load something into the variable, and then we display it on the on the screen. So and this, of course, would also have the uh, x and y. So um, what happens if you have like 12 of them? What you'll find is that you start doing this, like a lot of cutting and pasting, and then going back and changing these. And, and the same here, you'll cut and paste this, and then you'll end up cutting and pasting those. So, you know, maybe it makes more sense to have an array of these images instead of separate variables. Uh, doesn't always make sense, but probably does in this case where I just want to, uh, let's say it's like a slideshow and I'm just going to show a bunch of images one after the other. So um, maybe what I should do is what I did with the numbers. Say I have um, a variable called uh, pictures that contains a list of images. And uh, so I use the same t syntax as before. I tell it I want to ever, I only ever want to hold five things in that list. And then, um, rather than going through and uh, setting each one individually, like I did with the numbers, you know, pictures, number, item number zero is equal to frog, and then later I would uh, display item number zero out of pictures, it's still not saving me too much. Um, all it's done is kept me from having separate uh, variable declarations up here, but I still have to do this five times, it is five times. So maybe I can maybe I can do a little better. Uh, for loops are great for arrays. They iterate through each item, right? So this is like a pretty normal syntax where I say start at item number zero, go until you, as long as you're less than uh, the number of items in the array, right? Because uh, we go through zero, one, two, three, four. That's five things in the array. So I can't say less than or equal to five or it'll crash because it tries to get to item number five, which doesn't exist. So this is one way to do it, less than five. And then um, just every time I go through the array, through the loop, I want to add one to i. So now if you look, uh, I could change this to i. And um, what I'm doing is going through every item in the pictures array and I'm loading an image into it. Unfortunately, I'm loading the same image every time. So maybe another trick here is that I can say um, I'm going to number all of my images 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, you know, the actual file names, .jpg. So if that's the case, then I could say the number that I'm at right now, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, whatever, um, plus .jpg at the end. So, um, and then, you know, maybe I can use a loop here for displaying them too. But for now, I just see what happens. I should complain because those images don't actually exist. But you can see it sort of worked because um, if I look at the errors, it's trying to load 4.jpg, 3.jpg, 2.jpg, and 0.jpg, which is perfect. That's what I was trying to do. So, um, you know, maybe in my uh, draw loop now, if I'm doing some kind of... Um, slideshow or something, I can iterate through the list again. And it starts to become more manageable, more organized. And, uh, you know, maybe I go one step further and say the actual number of things um, that I'm going to store in my array is a variable. And I set it to, now I have more images, I'm going to set it to 10. So any place that I would put 5 before, I would just do this. So now it starts to be more readable in, as English, and um, it also means that if I change the number of images to 11, I don't have to go hunting down all these numbers everywhere in my sketch. I just change it in this one place. So um, that's, that's about it. All I want to show you. Uh, okay, good luck.